Don't forget to like and subscribe right now or these creepy fish will haunt you at night. The Marietta Trench, located in the Pacific Ocean, directly east of the Philippines, is home to some of the most terrifying deepwater species on the globe. These terrifying marine monsters, as well as the trench itself, which is widely regarded as one of the most terrifying places on the planet, are not for the faint of heart. The organisms that live in the Mariana Trench have evolved, but in exchange, they have taken on horrific features. Scientists and filmmakers continue to investigate the mainly uncharted region, but what lurks beneath the Mariana Trench's depths? Well, we've got you covered. Today, we are looking at the top 10 creatures found in the Mariana Trench. At number 10, Sea Devil Anglerfish. It's a safe bet that a fish with the word devil in its name will be scary. The Sea Devil Anglerfish does not disappoint, possessing a bevy of fascinatingly odd qualities. It's difficult not to begin with a Sea Devil's appearance. With its malformed physique, razor-like teeth, and chilling death stare, this fish looks like it may have swum up straight from hell. They're not enormous, despite their strange and frightening appearance. Females reach a maximum length of 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Males are substantially smaller, at around an inch or 2.5 centimeters in length. Next at number 9 is the Telescope Octopus. Telescope octopuses float and dangle in the lowest currents of the Earth's oceans, like wraiths of the abyss. This octopus does not flit about on the seafloor like most octopuses. Instead of swimming horizontally, it suspends itself vertically in the water column at depths more than 6,500 feet, maybe to make it harder for deeper predators to detect its shape. If you stumbled upon a telescope octopus, you might question if the underwater pressure was causing you to see things. Its body is practically transparent, and a thin webbing runs between each of its eight tentacles, giving this species a ghostly appearance. Number 8. Barrel Eye Fish In the ocean's midnight zone, light is a rare and valuable commodity. The capacity to detect even a speck of sunlight can spell the difference between capturing and being a meal. As a result, creatures of the trench, like the barrel eye fish, have evolved peculiar traits to take advantage of shards of light. How rare is that? To begin with, this fish has a translucent head. Two sensitive barrel-shaped eyes are located inside that head and are most often directed upwards, allowing the fish to discern silhouettes of its prey. The clear head, on the other hand, scientists believe it may simply help the fish to catch a little more light giving this unique creature an edge over its competitors. Number 7. Dumbo Octopus It's the kind of octopus Walt Disney would have created for one of his animated movies. It's the 12-inch Dumbo Octopus, which has cute little Dumbo the Elephant-like ears atop its body. This little creature also features charming wiggling eyes and a delightful puckered lips, which adds to its comical appearance. This octopus may appear delicate, yet it is tough enough to be the deepest dwelling octopus ever discovered. It tends to live between 9,800 and 13,000 feet below sea level. You probably picture an octopus with a bulbous mantle and eight dangly tentacles when you think of them. The Dumbo, on the other hand, belongs to a group of octopuses known as umbrella octopuses, which have webbed tentacles that give them an umbrella-like appearance. It has the appearance of a starfish with a balloon head protruding from the middle, this species, unlike most octopuses, does not bite and grind food using a beak-like mouth. Rather than chewing its prey entirely, it simply swallows it whole. So, if you're on the Dumbo octopus's menu, it probably doesn't seem quite as charming. Number 6. Goblin Shark If you've ever watched Aliens, you've probably had nightmares about toothy, bald creatures erupting from your chest and snapping at your face. Imagine a shark with a face like this, wandering about in the deepest, darkest seas. That's the goblin shark, a beast from your worst nightmares with a fitting name. The projecting snout of goblin sharks resembles a pointed sword. A set of jutting jaws just below the snout appear mismatched for the shark's face, as if evolution spun the wheel of ugly and the goblin shark lost in the worst way imaginable. Furthermore, these sharks aren't the usual gray tint. 
Their skin, on the other hand, has a striking pink color. At number 5, we have the Zombie Worms. It's officially known as the Ocidax, and its name, together with its feathery form, makes it look like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. However, this worm is also known as the Bone Worm or Zombie Worm, as it can eat the rock-hard bones of some of the world's largest animals, including whales. To gain access to the inner contents of those dead whale bones, the Zombie Worm secretes acids. Then, it employs symbiotic bacteria to convert the proteins and fats in the bone into nutrients that it can eat. Its feathery branches wiggle in the water, drawing oxygen into the worm to keep it alive. Number 4. Deep Sea Dragonfish The Deep Sea Dragonfish is the polar opposite of the Dumbo Octopus, which appears to be one of the most harmless-looking ocean species. The dragonfish is an assassin of the deepest depths, with huge fangs and a horrible face. It possesses a slick, slimy skin that mimics that of an eel, despite the fact that it is a fish. Dragonfish are around 6 inches or 15 centimeters long and prefer to swim between 700 and 6,000 feet below the surface, where the water is dark and chilly. This species, like many deep water organisms, has bioluminescent body parts that use internal chemical reactions to produce an eerie glow. Number 3. Deep Sea Hatchetfish In the sea, there are many strange-looking fish, but few of them resemble human hand tools. The deep sea hatchetfish has a silvery appearance and swims like a hatchet. Hatchetfish are found in around 40 different species. They're all extremely tiny and several of them have gleaming scales that add to the metallic hatchet-like appearance. They are little fish, with the largest reaching about 6 inches or 15 centimeters in length. Their fragile appearance belies their toughness since these fish can be found at depths of approximately 5,000 feet, or 1,524 meters. Number 2. Benthocodon Jellyfish are frequent marine invertebrates that wash up on beaches and jam fishermen's nets. The Benthocodon, on the other hand, is a unique jellyfish that prefers to live at depths of more than 2,500 feet or 762 meters, frequently right on the bottom. The bell jellyfish is a little jellyfish with a rounded top. The bell has an estimated 1,500 wispy red tentacles that it uses to whisk itself through the water, and it's normally smaller than 3 quarters of an inch to 1.2 inches or 2 to 3 centimeters in diameter. Small crustaceans and foraminiferous, tiny unicellular creatures are eaten by the benthocodon. The benthocodon's bell is opaque, reddish in hue, despite the fact that many jellyfish are transparent. Scientists believe that this color helps to hide the benthocodon from danger by masking the bioluminescent glow of the microscopic organisms that the jellyfish eats. This species, like so many others in the trench, is a mystery to biologists. And at number 1, the Frilled Shark. Frilled sharks appear to be a mix-and-match deal from your local evolution convenience store's bargain aisle. They feature an eel's rounded body and a flattened head that would fit well atop a terrestrial dinosaur. That may be appropriate, given that, like many sharks, this one has roots dating back over 80 million years. The shark's name comes from the six rows of frilly gills that adorn its body, which can reach a length of 6 feet or 1.8 meters. The shark also has more than 20 rows of deadly trident-shaped teeth that will tear through any flesh that comes close to them. Frilled sharks spend the most of their lives near the ocean's bottom, preferring depths of over 4,000 feet or 1,219 meters. When people do catch them and bring them to the surface, the sharks almost often die right away, making it difficult for us to study their behavior and life cycles. Many people thought frilled sharks swam and hunted like eels for years. Some academics believe that such mobility would be difficult due to an uncomfortable layout of internal organs. Instead, they claim that these sharks may strike their victim like a land-based snake, making them even more bizarre. That brings us to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment below. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video.